she sits at her desk. A diligent damsel not in distress, but always collective, calm, and cool. She has the swagger of a top model mixed with the focus of a CEO. She writes carefully on sticky notes as if she was signing the Constitution. Professional at all times, reserved and unassuming of the outside world. However, I notice her. She is my cubicle cutie, my office crush, my lunchtime lady. I daydream of her when I begin to hate my job. When the workload slows me down, she makes my heart throb. She exudes patience. I've never seen her flustered or stressed. She is the epitome of poise, poison ivy to my senses. She got me itching in anticipation. Sometimes when I walk by, she flashes that photogenic smile and I begin to wonder how it would look next to mine. I catch her staring into space as if she is looking for remnants of the Big Bang, but she is already made of the sun and the moon. And, and the moon. What I'm saying to y'all right now, this woman is fine, right? <laughs> and I don't mean like, 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 like Rihanna, Beyonce fine. I mean like, like, like she's so fine that if they ever fired me from my job, I would have to get facial reconstructive surgery, forge a new birth certificate, change my identity, resubmit my resume so I can get hired again just to continue to look at her. Yes, she is fake your own death fine. She is everything that I want in a woman that I hardly know. I do know that she likes turkey and Swiss, grapes, apples, and Cheez-Its. I admire how she takes pride in her appearance. Her bracelet always matches her blouse. It must take at least an hour for her to straighten her hair out. Outfits are like mood rings. I can tell by her heels how she feels. Still, we haven't gotten past surface conversation. Nothing more than how are you today or what are you doing this weekend? Like, I want to know more. Like, like I want to know what hospital she was born at. I talked about stalkers earlier. <laughs> Like, I want to know what hospital she was born at so I can have a talk with the doctor that helped give her birth and ask him how much she knows about astrophysics because he helped deliver a star. My workplace buddies, they're in disbelief of our potential. Tell me that she is out of my league. However, I am just Jeremy Lin sitting at the end of the New York Knicks bench waiting for Carmelo to get injured. Coach, just put me in. Her life, their assertions may be right, but I'm willing to prove them wrong. I know that workplace romances are frowned upon, but this could be different. I'll take her to lunch. We'll have drinks at happy hour. Now all I need is the courage to ask her out. And I did. I did.